I'm sold on how important testimonials are for an online business like mine. We all look at reviews when we're looking for hotels or we're looking for a restaurant or maybe we're finding our newest dentist. When it comes to our own businesses, we downplay the importance of how much social proof matters when people are buying something from us. It's especially important for those of us who sell without a sales call. Like if you sell from a landing page, I sell newsletter subscriptions, I sell digital products. So people aren't gonna talk to me before they buy those. They have to see what other people are saying. So I think it's fair to say that I couldn't run my business without a solid testimonial tool. And I just found a new favorite. It's called Shoutout. What's great about Shoutout is it takes no time whatsoever to set it up. It's super easy to learn, it's super easy to use, and it's super easy to start collecting social proof. I just imported over 250 testimonials, videos, images, screenshots from social media. I thought it would be a full-on nightmare to switch tools. I had been putting this off forever, but when I got the note that Kyle and Mitya had taken over Shoutout, I was so excited to try it that I wrote them back right away. They built a CSV importer in a matter of weeks, less than weeks. I sent all my stuff over there and it loaded so quickly. I have it all up and running. I want to show you around my Shoutout account, tell you what I love about it, and help you find more ways to use social proof in your business. I'm Lex Roman. I'm a newsletter writer, a community convener, and I teach the paid subscription business. You're going to love Shoutout if you're running a paid subscription business like me or if you're selling digital products, memberships, anything where you're not going to get on the phone with your buyers. So let's get into it. The way that this is organized, on the left here, I have my different workspaces. So I have my workspaces set up like this. Legends is my paid subscription. Shop testimonials is my store testimonials. And then all testimonials is everything else. So when you load Shoutout, you just see all of your social proof, which I think is fantastic. You have the importer right here. So you can upload a CSV of testimonials, or you can add them manually by importing them from a different channel, or by just clicking text or video and manually uploading your testimonial. I capture a lot of screenshots, so this is great for me. I can just upload those screenshots and load people in here. The CSV importer works great. I'm going to show you that in a second. Over here, you have your form. So this is your testimonial form. You can embed this on your site, or you can just send people a direct link. And then here you have your widgets. This is the wall of love or anything that you're putting on your site, the carousels or the grid of testimonials. It could not be more simple. It could not be easier to understand. Let me show you how the CSV importer works. So I downloaded my CSV from a different testimonial tool and I didn't touch it. So I'm just gonna hit import. I'm grabbing the file and then Shoutout has already imported them. So here they are right here. Now it does take a little bit longer if you have hundreds like I did. I just imported two right now, but you can see how quickly they come in. They come in with their ratings. They come in with even, I had highlights on these. They come in with a date, their name, what it says on their bio, because these are LinkedIn imports. So it all just loads in here for me. I did have a little bit of trouble with some of the images, but that has been the case on every testimonial tool I've used. Like if I'm importing something from LinkedIn, it tends to grab the wrong image. So what I like about Shoutout is that they just don't, they didn't grab the image. So I go in here and I add any of the images that it missed. And I went ahead and imported my video testimonials manually. So I just went to add testimonial video and then I just uploaded the video directly with their name and the date and everything. You can also import from a channel. So I get a lot of tags on LinkedIn. This is a tag I got from Devin Lee the other day, shout out to Devin. I'm just gonna copy the link to this post, head over to shout out, go to LinkedIn and give them the link to import. Now, right now it's not pulling in the text into these shout outs, but I do think they're gonna fix this. So for now it's pulling in Devin's profile picture, her name, and then the link to the post. And then I can actually just copy the post and toss it right into the shout out field and then hit create shout out. And now I have a new testimonial. You can see that I already had Devin's testimonial in here because I am very fast with saving those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one. But while I'm in here, let me show you that you can individually share a testimonial by enabling a share link. It looks like this when you load it in the browser. You can also edit those testimonials if you want to like add their company and role, for example, and you can delete them if you have extras like I just did. Let's have a look at the form. This is pretty customizable. What I like about it is it's not too customizable. You don't have a million settings to address. So you can put your logo in here, your brand color, you can choose light or dark, and you can choose to remove the shout out branding if you want to. That's an upgrade that you can pay for. Then you can go in here and you can fully customize all of this text is customizable. What these buttons say is customizable. You can take videos in or text or both. And then you can just add your prompts in here. There's defaults in both of these sections, but I like to custom write them. So I've rewritten what goes in here. 
then you can decide what info you're taking in about your your client, your customer. I like to take in photo, name, and email, and then I really like ratings. And I have the terms field off, but if you are in a very privacy focused country or maybe your testimonials are pretty sensitive, you can add a terms so that you make sure that you can use your testimonials in all the ways that you might want to in your marketing. Lastly, you have a little thank you page and you can customize this, your message here, and then you can send them somewhere else. So I like to send them to the place where their testimonial goes if that's possible. So in this case, I'm sending them to the wall of love. Otherwise, you can send them to your website or to a social media profile. Here's what that testimonial form looks like in the browser. I can write my testimonial here. I can upload a screenshot if I want to. I've got all my details in here. And then it's got my testimonial logged. Now that I've logged a testimonial, we can go back over here to submissions and see that I have a new testimonial and I can approve it, which means it'll go into my testimonial set or I can decline it if it doesn't belong there or if I don't like something about it. So if I approve it, it goes right into my batch here. And since I have an automated wall of love, it'll just go onto the wall of love. And for that reason, we're gonna delete it. Now, once you have some testimonials in here, you're gonna wanna show them to people. And this is where the widgets come in. So there's two types of widgets in a shout out right now. Walls of love, which look like this, they are just waterfalls of social proof. All of your testimonials just cascading down the page. And this is a very simple design. I like it. You have a logo and then you can customize what it says up here and you can add the form in so that people can leave a testimonial for that same wall of love. So this just goes right to that same form. And then you also have embeddable widgets and you can embed two types of widgets. You can do a wall of love style widget like this. So this is a shout out widget that's on my paid subscription landing page. So the testimonials just load as a grid. And what's great about this is that I have so many of them that it will like stop at some point and it'll force the, the reader to load more because it's just too many. It's hard, it's, hard being, it's hard being this loved. So, you know, it's good that they have built features like this for those of us who have too many testimonials. You can also load them into a carousel where they will go horizontally. And that's what this one is. I only have three testimonials in this carousel. So that's why you don't see the carrots on either side, but this will continue horizontally if I add more to it rather than going vertically. And then I have another vertical testimonial grid here, also a shout out widget. So what those look like inside shout out is that you have the grid option or the carousel option. Again, you can choose light or dark theme. You have a few extra settings in here and then you can actually select which shout outs go into this grid if you just have some that you want to choose or you can say all everything in this project everything in this workspace is going to load in to your testimonial widget you can also custom reorder them so you can say i always want this one to appear second or first or third or whatever and then you can say i'm done they also have this pinned feature, so you can pin some of your favorite shout outs to the top and everything will go below that. Once you've configured that how you want it, you'll just save your changes and then grab the embed code and load it onto your site. The standalone wall of love is basically the same. You'll just go in configure the things that you want to configure, decide which shout outs are going in your wall of love, and then grab the link and share it. What's great about this is that you can create multiple widgets. So if you have multiple different kinds of social proof in one of your workspaces, like I do, you can publish separate widgets with separate selections. So I have my event organizer testimonials here where I've selected which of those testimonials I want to appear. And then I have my speaking and training testimonials, which are more people that have attended my talks. I was able to select those here as I built this wall of love. There's a couple other settings that you might wanna check. You can rename your projects. You can have a custom link for each of your workspaces, which is where your wall of love will live. You can obviously add your logo and a brand color. The last thing I wanna mention is that Shoutout just launched an affiliate program. So if you like the tool as much as I do, you can become an affiliate and you can earn 30% on all paid customers that you drive. What I love about Shoutout is that it's so simple. I don't have to configure a lot of things. The form looks really nice. The wall of love looks really nice. It's easy to see all my testimonials. Kyle and Mitya have been super responsive to all my requests. They fix bugs for me. I'm really excited about where they're taking this tool. And I've already told all my friends.
Right now, it's a great solution, and they're offering a lifetime deal. It's a huge bargain for anyone who's maybe not quite sold on social proof or as much as I am, but you do want to collect testimonials and you do want to display them on your site or have a wall of love. Like, you really can't beat this deal. You should get in on it, and you should get in their ear about what you want to see and show them how you're using the tool. I love supporting tech that's run by Bootstrap founders because they really do listen to their base. So go check out Shoutout. If you love it, tag me or send me a note. Show me how you're using it. I love seeing how people use testimonials to sell their products and, and subscriptions. I don't get excited about tools very often, but you can see my full toolkit at lexroman.com slash toolkit. I've got everything on there that I use to run my business and some discounts. If you're not on my newsletter, you can get on it at revenuebullbreaker.com. I talk about the paid subscription business. I talk about what it's like traveling full time. I talk about how to run an online business in a way that feels authentic to you. And I'll see you back here next time. I feel like making a YouTube video. (laughs) 